Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 115 of my let's play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. So we warded off the attack of those bandits and we go with Kisnir to the village to see how things turned out. So there were fires set here and there but it actually seems like there were a few people who died. It's good that we got here as fast as we did, and this is probably the best outcome we could hope for. So, somehow we got the village and the castle through this unharmed. Ah, yeah, and having defeated this bandit gang, Kisner thinks that a part of her repayment to Influ's kingdom. Remember, she's a knight and she just kind of ran off with the castle. So it's not like she's forgotten she kind of owes the kingdom itself. But in the next moment, a shadow comes across her face. So, with Avaro's encourage, she was able to come to she came to the village first. And believing in her allies, we were able to protect everyone this time. But she can't bring herself to think that this decision will be the same every time. She is, after all, going to keep thinking that in situations like these, there is a set of lives she needs to prioritize. She doesn't think that it's all right to just abandon those lives that she can't get to. But she can't get it out of her head, the thought that this time we were just lucky. So she's being pretty hard on herself, admonishing herself regarding her this. So it looks like she hasn't completely given up on her regrets. Is that so? But well, if Kissner continues to be like that, it's okay. So whatever the reason that you do these things, you keep thinking about how to help people and how you can fight to protect people. Basically your actions are whom to protect. So it's only natural you would be a bit you would have second guesses on your decisions. Since you're only one person, there's a limit to how many people you would be able to protect. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but around Ki you, Kisner, is not only one person. So when you've made mistakes, we're here to help you out and support you. And in return, when we make mistakes, you'll be here to scold us as well. So we both support each other in what we're, well, lacking in. That's what it is to be allies here. <laughs> K 
Kiesner says that Avaro is very strong. So once we've exchanged this words, these words, the man who came to the castle runs up dripping with sweat again. Oi! Kiesner san! So, hey there, Kiesner. Kiesner san, anta wa mura no kyuseishu da. So, Kisner, you're the savior of the village. And you people from the castle as well. Thank you so much for coming to protect the village. So, he's very happily giving us his gratitude on this. Well, if you hadn't spotted those bandits, we wouldn't have been able to save you at all. So, we thank you as well. Be proud of yourself. Huh. Yeah, he blushes. But he continues talking. So then, the reward that he talked about before, he'd like to pay. In these circumstances, how much would you ask? Yeah, Kisner says that we don't need a reward. She is a knight. <laughs> and what and protecting everybody is her only natural for her. Yeah, well, now we can't let that go. At least something. Let us do something in order to pay off this, or we'd be overcome with guilt here. Yeah, you know, it'd eat away at us. Hmm. Well, if it would eat at you, then how about we do it this way? Kisner glances in our direction. So, in the assault, there were houses and businesses that were damaged, right? Why don't you request the repairs from the Gualacuna Company? And that will be enough. Mm, but if we do it that way, it's not exactly a reward, is it? No, since we get work out of it, and you guys get your village repaired, you'll pay us properly for that much. So it is a proper reward for us. Kisner says this without hesitation, and the man, seeing her face, still looks a bit worried, but, and looks at our, wait, he looks a bit worried and glances at Avaro as well. Okay, so are you also okay with this? Yeah, of course we don't mind. Since we're getting a new business connection here, we're happy to do this. Handle it like this. So, with that response, he kind of gives up. But still, thanks us and leaves. So, it seems he's going to tell all the village people and they'll accept it as well. So then, let's start by returning to the castle and verifying everything there, and then head out right away to fix up the village. All right, let's do that. And of course, Kisner will help with the work. <laughs> there have been other scenes where she'd be more likely to break the village 
than to actually repair anything. But it doesn't come up in this scene. So after that, the Guadalcuna Company got to work. Since we wanted to do it right away, and we had a lot to do, it continues a long time. And of course, Avaro couldn't have done it all by himself, so he requested a bunch of help from workers in the castle. Now this particular time, he's coming in to the work site and sees only one person there. Kisner, are you here by yourself? Where are the rest of the workers? And just now they entered into the break time. And Kisner was thinking she was just about to take a break herself. And Avaro, you're a bit late out here. Did something happen? Yeah, there was another task which he had to take care of and before he came. But he was planning on getting to work right now himself. If the other workers aren't here, hmm, well, I guess I'll do what I can myself. Is that so? Right now, there's nobody other than Avaro, huh? She actually whispers that though to herself, I guess. I heard it just fine. Uh, Kisner, what's up? So, she was thinking that she wanted to thank Avaro again. What's this all of a sudden? And what's, what do you want to thank me in regard to? Well, of course, it's about this village. And when she was like she was before, she'd like to thank him for supporting with supporting her with those strong words of his. <laughs> supporting her with powerful words, huh? Well, if he was to be of if he was of use to her, then that's good. Well, at that time, Kisner was definitely, clearly, not in her normal frame of mind. The regrets from her past were binding her thoughts and actions. So, Havaro, thank you. He was able to clear away her uncertainty there. She was caught up in her own thinking. And looking at the outcome, if she hadn't been here to protect these people, if she hadn't been here for these people, she would have lost something very precious. Yeah. So since she was able to protect the village like this, she feels like her feelings have gotten a bit lighter. So in the past, she failed to protect her lord, but she was able to protect the people of this town. And she's thinking, just a little, she can start to forgive herself for it. Yeah, of course, her feelings aren't completely cut at this point. Continuing to carry the words of her lost lord in her heart. 
to wield her sword to pr for the benefit of the most people. She's going to continue ahead. But thanks to this time, she doesn't have to worry by herself like she did. And she can trust her allies with the places that she can't be. That's how she's starting to think now. So she says this and smiles. So this past of hers that had bound her heart for so long, she's been able to overcome. Well, if I was able to support you with my words and get you through your lostness, I'm always happy for it. So let's continue to help each other and rely on each other. So you were going to take a break, right? I'm always going to get to work so we can get this village fixed up quickly. Hmm. Okay. That's what Evaro thought would end the conversation, but Kisner still has something to say. Alright. Not as thanks. This isn't what she's trying to get into here. She wanted to do convey some of her personal feelings to him. And then some rather unforeseen words leapt out of Kisnir's mouth. So now in this place, Kisnir would like to lay with Avaro. You don't mind, right? Now, in this place? So, we ask that of her and she has this serious expression and nods slightly. So, since we had this incident in this village, She's come to start thinking that she wanted to, you know, have sex with him. Huh. I'd rather prefer that pretend that she didn't say this. But anyway, she's saying by using her body, she can get Avaro to feel good. If she, being so inexperienced, is okay with him. Oh, that's a really lame way of saying it, Kisner. But no, he doesn't mind. It's just that it was kind of sudden. Uh, also, this place is... This place? This is actually the work center. There are a lot of places that can see to here, and if we take too long, the workers will return. Okay, she says that she's clumsy, and she doesn't know, hasn't been, oh, she hasn't done any dating, so she doesn't know how to <laughs> properly ask for sex, I guess. And the one who made her a woman was, of all, you, after all. Hmm. So she doesn't quite make eye contact with Avaro, as she's saying, and she's blushing. <laughs> well, taking a look at it, it's clear she's put what courage she has in personal relationships into making this offer to him.
In fact, it may be that she was looking for an opportunity like this. Hmm. Being alone with Avaro or being alone in a workshop where there's people about to come by. Ah, uh, let's not. And it's not exactly like we... It's the first time we two have done it. So is it alright? Well... That's a nice information from quite a beautiful woman. So there's no way we could refuse. Yeah, of course. So I was just startled that you asked all of a sudden there. But if I have the opportunity to connect with you, he's happy. Well, if that's how he thinks about it, then she too is happy. I think she should have a little second thoughts on that. He's saying that he wants to connect with her, so... It could be he's just trying to get more MEGA POWER! <laughs> so then, just leave all of this to Kisner. She'll certainly be able to fulfill you. And with that, that's a sex scene, so I'm going to cut and I will see you in a moment. Alright, and that was that. Uh, hey, remember we talked with the villager? And we said that our reward would be getting work and getting paid for our work? Did you for You didn't forget to pay us, did you? Nope, all we got was a sex scene. I mean, not like I'm complaining about getting a sex scene, but still. They said they would give us more. Hmm. Hmm, it seems I'm definitely short on goblinoids. <laughs> Eight four-star lightning elementals. That'll be a pain. Well, I could have done this one as well. What's this? Hmm, that's odd. I should have been able to do this before. Oh no, I needed four of them. Woohoo. We didn't get anything there, did we? Yeah, we didn't get to do any mining. Hey, I'm almost full on mana potions. That's good. Yes, Sugida. All right. That will cover us for this time. Next time we're coming to this second map in the Gallery Waterfall. So, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.